Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to get smoky eyes effect using eyeshadows. And today I'm going to be using the Fate Eyeshadow Palette and the Ruby's Palette in these shades. They don't have a name. You're just going to need a normal eyeshadow brush. And this is a really easy um, tutorial to do. Sorry, I have a soother in my mouth. Yum. So, first you're going to get your eyeshadow brush and take it into a grey colour or a black. But, um, grey works best and then put it onto your waterline and I will be right back just need to just on the waterline As you can see, it makes your eyes look a bit bigger. I'm just going to do it on the other one as well. So when you've done that, you want to um, get a light grey colour or a white. I'm just using this one from the Ruby's palette. And highlight the inner corner of your waterline and the inner corner of your eyelid. Okay. Then you're going to take a brown or a black colour, and I'm just going to use the same colour we used on the waterline, and fill in your eyeliner line above your eyelashes <laughs> at the top. It's hard to explain when you don't know the whole words from that, so you don't know the whole words from that bit. going to bring with me and quite a bit. I think there's a lot of because they are quite uh, a reasonably cheap but quite expensive product. It's kind of, it's, it's like mildly pigmented. We're only working with about three colours. Take a brown colour or um, any skin tone, but as long as it's kind of dark, and apply it to the crease. So, I'm um, really a uh, very pigmented colour. So you don't need much like you did, like I did with the fate. And then with it with the grey colour you used, just um slightly wing it on the sides of your eyelid.
Right, so this is what you got so far, and then you just have to get your darkest colour, which was the black that we used, or the or the dark grey, and then apply that to the outline of the lines with the grey you just did, and then blend it outwards. So there, that's what it is, and you just. You might want to blend it out in a winged formation. But yeah, I hope you like this tutorial. Um, this is a great like for a night out or a party or maybe Halloween if you want to do that. And yes, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thumbs up if you did. Thumbs down if you didn't. If you didn't, tell me why you didn't in the comments. And if you did, tell me why in the comments. Leave a video response on how you did this, if you do. And I'll see you next time. Bye!